Seashells by Bella Mote. If you walk along the seashore, you'll probably see many kinds of shells. Seashells were once the home of live animals. The animals that live inside shells have soft bodies, so they need their shells to protect them from harm. Their shells save them from storms or predators such as starfish, birds, and otters. Shells also give the animals a shape. In that way, shells are like skeletons on the outside of the body. When the animal dies, the shell remains. Creatures with shells belong to a group of animals called mollusks. Not all mollusks have shells. Of the mollusks that do have shells, there are two main groups. Univalves. More than three quarter of all mollusks are univalves, a word that means having a shell that is all one piece. The shell is coiled and inside the coil is the soft body of the mollusk. Many univalves are named for their appearance. Look at the examples above. Does the helmet shell remind you of a helmet? How about the worm and slipper shells? The worm shell, the slipper shell, the helmet shell. So they're all named after what they look like. Paragraph four. Some univalves have small holes in their shells. Abalone shells have a series of holes. Water and waste are expelled or pushed out through holes. The inside of an abalone shell gleams with different rainbow colors. This iridescent substance is called the mother of pearl. Bivalves. After univalves, bivalves are the next largest group of mollusks. When a bivalve is alive, the two parts of its shell are hinged. After the animal dies, you may find just one part of the shell lying on the beach. Many bivalves have names that reflect their appearance. A jackknife is a knife that folds into its own case. The jackknife clam has an appropriate name because it has about the same shape as a closed jackknife. Are angel wings and kitten paws fitting names for these the shells shown here? So here's the angel wing shell and the kitten paw shell. Paragraph seven. There are many different kinds of clams, very different, small to very large. The giant clam is the largest bivalve. Some are four feet long and weigh 500 pounds. The giant clam even grows its own food. Tiny plants get caught in the clam. The plants get what they need from the clam, but eventually the clam eats the plants. Another common bivalve is the oyster. All oysters can make pearls but the pearl oyster makes the most beautiful ones. A pearl is an accident. A grain of sand or something else gets inside the oyster shell. An oyster is creating new shell material all the time to protect itself from the foreign body. The oyster covers it with the same material that the oyster shell is made of. The result, a pearl.